If you still haven't been a Patreon subscriber, you now have two years worth of content you've missed out on. Now's as good a time as any to start. Support the habit at patreon.com slash dose of Buckley. If you can believe it, the PS5 is now over a year old. And perhaps even harder to believe, they've sold over 13 million of them. Now, sort of like God, I've never actually seen one, so I have to believe they don't actually exist. 13 months later and physically purchasing a PS5 is still not easy. Yeah, it is. You just suck, you loser idiot. You don't know what you're doing, says people who put alerts on three Twitter accounts, two Discord servers, had their name on five waiting lists, and blew a GameStop employee to get one. At least he said he worked for GameStop, but anyway, that's not easy. Buying a toaster is easy. When you can actually walk into a store and buy one off a shelf, that's when it'll be easy. But the chip shortage is still happening. Sony can't produce as many PS5s as they'd like to. They had to reduce their sales forecast to 15 million sold by March 2022, down from the expected 22 million. And video game companies aren't the only ones being hit by this. It's not just the graphic card industry either. It's affecting a lot of industries. I mean, not the toaster industry, of course. Toasters don't need semiconductors. Buy all the fucking toasters you want. But, for example, new cars need these chips. Seriously, go try and buy a new car right now. They're putting people on waiting lists. The industry has apparently lost $210 billion this year because they can't get fucking computer chips. Turns out all those old people who are like, Ah, these fancy cars today, they got too many computer chips in, I'm not just gonna fuck them over. They were right. Manufacturers have had to go old school to solve their problems. Peugeot, for example, said, Fuck it. Oh wait, sorry, I should really do the accent, I suppose. Oh, fuck it. We cannot get the microchips for our speedometers. We'll go back to the old analog ones. That's what they did to keep up production. But anyway, everyone who wants a PS5 still can't get a PS5, which is leading to people coming up with, let's say, creative solutions to get one. Let me tell you a little story about a 19-year-old just outside of Houston, Texas. He puts his PS5 up for sale online, news reports don't say where exactly, and gets an interested buyer, who comes by the seller's house to make the purchase. The buyer says, let's go in the house, plug it in, make sure it works. Reasonable enough request, I suppose. The seller does that, and the buyer pulls a gun on him, and says, uh, cool, so that's free, right? Thanks. I don't know if those are the exact words, I don't know if there's an argument, but he supposedly threatens to shoot him, and then turns the threat into a promise by putting a bullet in his side and taking off. He grabs the PS5, gets outside, drops the fucking PlayStation into the dirt, the real shame of the story, presumably gets in his car and gets the fuck out of there, as he escaped without being arrested. The 19-year-old who was shot got to the hospital, he was stable with non-life-threatening injuries. And as of writing this, the shooter is gone. Police said they have no description of the male shooter at this time. Apparently Chief Wiggum's working this case. Now, that's the story. That's everything we know. Nothing more than that. But people love to speculate. We all do. And the comments of this story on Kotaku went a little something like this. Story's a little thin on detail. I have a feeling Kotaku is bending over backwards to avoid saying scalper because they know he'll instantly lose all sympathy. And yeah, it is a good possibility he was a scalper. I mean, who's just selling a PS5 right now? Like, oh, I'm bored of it already. Well, I'll just sell it for exactly what I paid for it. I suppose that's possible, but unlikely, right? No, someone wanted to make a few extra bucks before Christmas. A person replies, He'd lose all sympathy? So what? If we knew he was, suddenly everyone would think he deserved to be shot for being a scalper? I extremely doubt that. Well, don't press X for doubt just yet, because while that does seem like a rational thought that selling a video game system for more than the manufacturer's suggested retail price shouldn't carry the death penalty, and it would seem insane that people would think that, you're on the internet, motherfucker, where insanity reigns supreme. Tuba, if you're scalping, you deserve to get shot. You can't change my mind. Scalpers can go get the star starked. Maybe the MF had an overpriced PS5. If this guy was scalping, he deserved it. If he was scalping it, 
I mean, yeah, kind of deserve it. I feel sorry for the kid, but people shouldn't be scalping. Gouging, probably selling for 900. And that was just a small sample. This is why the Punisher could never exist in real life. In comics, it's fine. He's limited to slaughtering drug dealers and human traffickers. We can all cheer that on. In real life, there'd be some vigilante justifying going around shooting people because they tried to sell a toy for too much money. But this is how I know that maybe I've been on the internet for too long. There was the briefest of moments where I thought, yeah, if he was scalping, good, fuck this piece of shit. And then, from the very depths of the basement of my brain, where I locked up the reasonable part of me about 10 years ago and threw away the key, I heard a voice go, Oh, hey, the fuck's the matter with you? I don't know why the rational part of me is a cartoon Italian mobster, but anyway, yeah, clearly, no one should die for scalping, or be shot, or have any violent acts committed upon them. Right? Of course. Yeah, definitely. Probably. But, like, not even a punch in the face? No, no, no. Okay, I guess, I, no. But no one likes scalpers. Except for scalpers. Forbes interviewed a guy earlier in 2021 who had this to say. There seems to be a lot of bad press on this incredibly valuable industry, and I do not feel that it is justified. All we are acting as is a middleman for limited quantity items, said Jordan, who co-founded The Lab, a private group that advises paying users on how to scalp, known as a cook group. So this jizz stain is overcharging for PS5s and charging people to learn how to use bots so that they can fucking become scalpers. <laughs> yeah, get fucked, dude. Essentially, every business resells their products. Tesco, for example, buys milk from farmers for 26 pence or so per liter and sells it on for upwards of 70 pence per liter. No one ever seems to complain to the extent as they are currently doing towards ourselves. What he doesn't seem to understand is, scalpers are part of the reason these are limited quantity items. All we are acting as is a middleman. Yes, a second, incredibly unnecessary middleman. GameStop, Best Buy, Walmart, they're already middlemen. Like, he uses Tesco as an example because he's a filthy Brit. Sorry to all the British people who do wash, but this would be like if Tesco sold milk for 70 pence per liter, he used special tools to buy it all before anyone else could so there was no more milk, and then said, Hey, got milk? <laughs> Remember those commercials? Well, guess what? No, you don't got milk. I got milk, and if you want it from me, you have to buy it for one pound fifty pence a liter. That's two dollars a quart in normal currencies and measurements. I'll tell you right now, I would not shed a tear if this guy. Hey, oh, come on. Sorry, sorry, but yeah, like fuck that guy, right? He said he bought twenty-five PS5s using a bot in January and sold them all for about three hundred thirty dollars U.S. above retail and mentions that his group has helped others also use bots to purchase PS5s to resell. That's hundreds, potentially thousands of PS5s that could have been bought by people that just want to play them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why no one likes you opportunistic cunts using robots to increase the scarcity of an already scarce product. But that's the free market, baby. So, as tempting as it is, please do not shoot scalpers. Do you really want to risk going to jail for the rest of your life over, what, a PlayStation 5? It's got like, what, less than 10 games you can't play on a PS4? Oh, and also, again, the absurdity of shooting someone over a toy. But I can tell you right now, as much as we don't sympathize with scalpers, no one is going to sympathize with you either when they make a true crime podcast about you, the guy who's getting porked in the ass every day by a 300-pound biker that bought you for a pack of camels because your FOMO was so bad you just couldn't wait any longer to play Ratchet and Clank.